Wastewater Dam presents Wastewater Math Calculated with Excel Spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com. Today's example, calculate the number of large idle clarifiers to put in service. Today's problem reads, determine the number of the four large idle clarifiers out of service that are needed to put in service in the wastewater treatment plant. Assume the flow, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. with 2,000 GPM, and 5 p.m. to 7 a.m. with 511.9048 GPM. The seven small clarifiers in service have a diameter of 213.2968387 feet, and the four large clarifiers in service have a diameter of 282.166324 feet, and, and the design required GPM per square foot must not exceed 2.75 days. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do several things, but one of the things that we're going to do is uh, that we're going to actually take and calculate the number required clarifiers by taking the uh, surface area required based upon the design criteria minus the surface area that's actually in service. We're going to subtract those two numbers and we're going to divide it by the surface area of the large clarifier. Okay. Now all this stuff is calculated in separate standalone videos. So I'm just going to insert the results here in an Excel spreadsheet. And because the answer uh, is a, uh, a decimal, uh, and it's less than 1.5, it's actually going to be 1.48. Um, I've got to use the round up function in Excel to round it up to the next whole number. So I'm going to take this basic criteria and I'm just going to insert it into that, <coughs> that round up uh, Excel function. So let's go to a blank Excel spreadsheet and put your cursor in C1 and type more idle large clarifiers put in service. Uh, recognize your answer is going to be the number of uh, days. And then put your cursor in uh, A1 and make it whole numbers. And then make it bold and centered and in the address bar type in this long formula. Equal sign roundup for open parentheses, four of them, 592727, one close parenthesis minus sign, open parenthesis, 500,000, two closed parentheses, division key, open parenthesis, 62,500, two closed parentheses, comma, zero, and one closed parenthesis. Press enter, and in A1 will be your answer, two additional idle clarifiers. Now, just a couple little clarifications. If we did not use the roundup, we would have had, with whole numbers, we would have had one because the answer is 1.48, and it would have rounded down. Um, so we could, so so in order to give us the next highest full clarifier, we we'll use the roundup. The other thing I want you to know is that by putting in two full idle clarifiers, it actually brings the um, gallons per day per square foot below 2.75, it actually puts it at 2.6. So just if there's any questions about that, that's that's how it ends up. Okay, now how do we get to 592.727? We'll slide on down here, and that is the design surface area, and this is where we have the result and we have the uh, link and, and formula for the uh, 592,000. Now the actual surface area of the clarifiers in service. This is the uh, result here for the 500,000. This is the solution, the link, the title. Um, and then the uh, surface area of one large clarifier. This is the formula here with the result and the link to the video, 62,500. So the answer ultimately is two idle clarifiers. So that's your answer. So I hope you found this useful and helpful. If so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also encourage you to participate and interact. 
you can do that. Go to my website, environmentalacademy.com. Fill out, click on contact us, fill out and submit the form, and I'll reply back with an email. In any event, thanks for listening to this 5-minute and 15-second video.